Hello my dear students and uh, listeners, I hope you are doing great and this video I am going to explain about some uh, creative questions uh, regarding the physics and this is chapter 1 physical quantities and measurement. You see the questions is about the vernier constant of a slight calipers is given 0 0.01 centimeter and the diameter of a sphere is measured using this slight calipers. Now the what is the data is given the main scale reading is 12.2 centimeter the vernier coincidence is 5 so and also written that there is no instrumental error in this slight calipers and the mass of the given sphere is one kilogram so this data is given so we need to say that what are the data is given in the stem so the vernier constant is given 0 0.01 centimeter and this is very important to focus on the unit and you see the main scale reading which is expressed by capital M is given 12.2 centimeter and the vernier coincidence which is V is equal 5 and there is no instrumental error in the slight calipers and also what is given the mass of the sphere is 1 kilogram so these amount of data is given so the question is what is called the least count so if we see the least count definition that if the circular scale is rotated only one division this distance that screw covers from that one rotation is said to be the least count so we got the definition from least count and then the second question is force is a derived quantity explained so we know that f is equal m a so we know that that force is actually the the components of like mass times acceleration and this is a very common questions that in you, you see in the question paper which is very common so we can know that mass times times it should be acceleration so it would be velocity velocity over time so we can see that mass velocity and time so force is a combination of some fundamental quantities so mass and velocity is actually the displacement over time over time so it would be like mass times uh, displacement over time square so it would be a, a, a combination of some uh, quantities and that is why f or the force is a derived quantity so we know the definition of derived quantities and this is the explanation the third question or the C number question is determine the radius of the sphere. Now what to do that a sphere is being measured by the slight calipers. So when we will measure we will have the diameter. So what is diameter? Diameter is the two times of the radius. So in order to find radius we will get D and then we need to divide it by 2. So how to get this D or the length? So the length is, is actually the main scale reading plus vernier superimpositions times vernier constant minus plus minus error. Now let's see this M is 12.2 centimeter. This is very important. This V is 5 and the vernier constant is 0 0.01 also centimeter but there is no instrumental error so this would be 0 so it would be 12.2 plus 0 0.05 so it would be together 12.25 centimeter and this is actually the diameter so it was asked to radius so find a radius we need to divide it by 2 so if you divide 12.25 by 2 it would be 6.6.125 centimeter so we got the centimeter and the next question is this that the sphere will weather sink or float in water so to understand these questions we need to know that if it is water and a sphere is submerged here will it float or sink it depends on the density of liquid 
and the density of the sphere if you got that the density of liquid is greater than the density of sphere then we we know that it will float but if the solid density is greater than the liquid it will definitely sink now how to find this uh, density we know the equation is m by v so we know the mass of the sphere which is given we need to find out the volume so how to get this volume to get this volume we know that we need to do that v equal 4 by 3 pi r cube so why because this is the equations of the volume of a sphere so how to solve it at first we need to know that it's given meter or it's even ki kilogram so we know the unit of the density is kilogram per meter cube so we need to you need to convert it into meter so if you divide by 100 it would be 0 0.06125 so we know that this is 4 by 3 4 by 3 pi and then 0 0.06125 meter cube so let's find out so it's cube and then this one times times uh, 4 by 3 times 3.1416 so the value is value is 9.625 times 10 to the power minus 4 meter cube so this is the volume so what is the density of the sphere this is m by v so the m is 1 kilo and v is 9.625 10 to the power minus 4 so if you divide 1 divided by answer we will get 1038.94 which is definitely greater than 1000 so we know that the density of the sphere is greater than the density of the liquid so we can see that it will definitely sink in the water because the density of liquid is less than the density of the sphere so this is the answer of the steam and i hope you understand how to solve this and this is very common and you will have this sort of questions in your creative papers and then and this type of uh, stem is also common so i hope you understand how to solve this and the next video i'm coming up with a similar type of questions but which is very common in your physics paper so please let me know your feedback after watching this tutorial is it helpful for you and i shall be very much grateful to have your feedback so take care see you on the next class